is episode 16, and we're not only with the best personal injury lawyer in Chicago, but the coolest. John Walner is with us today. And uh, today we also have a very special guest. We have Sabrina King with us today, and we're really excited to have you, Sabrina, because you do so much in the community. And I want to understand if you can just tell, take us from the beginning um, a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to talk about what you do for the community. And how much you like me. Oh, That's the main me. thing, right? <laughs> okay, I am Sabrina King, and uh, I'm married, have a lovely husband with three lovely stepdaughters, grew up in the Inglewood community, and uh, I just retired over 23 years with the Chicago Police Department, and I'm happy to say I made it. I dealt with community policing for over 20 years. And that included, of course, with seniors, with youth, with churches, organizations. So my whole career basically was with the community. And I happened to generate um, a program which was called Love Teaching Youth because I just got the love of kids in the community, just saw what was happening in the community. And it just gave me the desire and just wanting to just reach out to the children, especially underprivileged in a minority a community. Thanks for your help in the community. I You're love it. You're a star it. of Chicago. Oh, right? thank you. <laughs> thank you. And a lot of enthusiasm for what you do. That's why you're here today. Oh, thank you. Thanks for having me. Because I appreciate getting to know you and and how, you know, how wonderful what you do for the community is on your own time and your own dime because you care and you have compassion and that's what attracted me to you and to the message that you bring to the community that, where you live and, and, and where you've grown up and where you've worked. Yes, but I would be remiss because Harlan, he introduced me to you and um, he saw the different things that we were doing and he said he knew a great attorney that would be interested in supporting and um, partnering with us. Like, so I'm very grateful. So it, in 19, it, just in context, in uh, Walner Law was founded in 1961, and in 1979, when advertising became ethical for lawyers to do in in the United States, Harlan Schillinger of Network Affiliates was our director of, of um, media and someone I've known since I've been about 27 years old in Harlan, in her, her, his discussion with Sabrina recommended me. And so we appreciate your trust in me and how I can help you and, your, and, the, and the members of your community that are underprivileged who don't have the same access to um, after school, um, things like basketball and after school tutorials and bowling and basketball tournaments and everything you arrange as kids with privilege and or monies in the community to support them. And, and that's how kids grow in educationally in their career, having the benefits of doing things outside school, keep away from the danger in the communities, let them focus on growing intellectually, socially. And that's something that you and bring emotional. to them. And emotionally, of course, emotional intelligence is huge if you are cared for socially outside of the school where the teachers because it only ends at the end of the school day and then there's more that that um that has to be done tell us more about those programs and how john and walner law has helped you with those programs well i'm just very happy to say that um you know especially most kids of course they love the basketball and i deal with the hispanic area they love the soccer but we've been able to reach out and get involved more with like golf and uh, tennis and archery. And I'm happy to say that he supported us with being able to get transportation and able to buy uniforms. And you know, this really touched the kids to look nice when they're out on the field playing these sports and it makes them feel like extra special and it makes them work harder. So it's just an honor to be able to be here to thank you at this moment because these kids don't get the opportunity. 
they don't even get the opportunity to leave the area where they live. Yeah. Let alone get involved with the sport and because sports that they would never have that opportunity. And they would never of, have yeah. the opportunity. So being able to bring these people. And of course, you know, the people that come over, we have to give them a stipend or pay them to teach these kids. And so we want to thank you at this time, especially. They would have never, they didn't even know what archery was. <laughs> never picked up a tennis racket or ever went bowling. Yeah. And to get that opportunity, these kids are just excited. And not only do we teach the sport, but Self-esteem, we talk about bullying and other topics. Etiquette, a lot of kids, they didn't know which fork to use when they go out to a restaurant and being able to take them to a nice restaurant and have the funds made available. Thank you, Honor, for giving them an opportunity. So didn't you bring a little something uh, for John? We did. All right. Where is that? Let's bring it in. Don't give any uh, bows and arrows. I don't need those. You know, my shot would be, you know, as an archer, I'd be yeah. terrible. <laughs> and I have to make mention, Alvin Jarrett, who he is the number one tailor, seamstress yeah. on the south side of Chicago, who made these uniforms, and these are like NBA uniforms yeah thank you for supporting the byba well, we we like to be by your side you know what else attracted me you always you always talk about um how you work with caps yes and other and other um organizations that that help the youth but i love how you got the grandmothers involved in your outings and, Absolutely. and tell us tell them about the um what you do for the for the grandchildren of the grandparents talk about yes that a well, a lot of the grandparents in the community are taking care of their grandchildren because of, unfortunately, the mother may be incarcerated or the father's incarcerated or the parent is unfortunately on drugs. So the grandmother is struggling to take care of the kids and we appreciate you helping us to bring them out of the community and also we're focusing on giving the grandparents a stipend and that's great. thanks to Walmart. I mean, it's a two-way street. You're putting all the, your yeah, time in that jersey. That's beautiful. Yeah, let's see it. What do you and got for me? manufacturing. Uh, and uh, this got is Got your logo got on it. One. It's got near the number it. one Walner. I love it. Do you think it. if I wore that, I'd be a better basketball player? Because I'm pretty bad. Probably. Yeah. I think, I, think the, I think the uniform is And this is different. not cheap material. Right. Let me and, feel it. Let's feel the goods. Here, you need to put, put I that love on. It. This put this on. Put it on. You want me to put yeah, this put on? Yeah, put it on. Take Hold off on your jacket and put it let on. Me, let me see if this fits. Yeah. There you go. What did that say? All right. And then you have, okay, all right. Beautiful. Oh. I love it. <laughs> well, you know you have to throw up the first tip. Yeah. And this is August 19th. Right. August 19th. Am I taller than the kids? I want to make sure the ball Fix your high. collar in the back. Maybe about. Your height, some of them. So, Sabrina, I love it. Um, tell us about that league, that basketball league. Um, how many kids participate? How often do they play basketball? Where are their games played? Well, I'm happy to say we just formed the BYBA because Love Teaching Youth, which is my organization, and real quick, I just want to expunge on that a little bit. Back in 2005 is when I started it because I had a nephew, honor student, coming home from school, shot down, killed. And because of all the crimes in the community, my husband and I decided to put together and form our own organization, which is called Love Teaching Youth in the Inglewood community, New City. We've serviced back of the yard community kids. I can go on and on, name different park districts that we've serviced, organizations that partner with love teaching youth. So we decided to put together the BYBA because, again, in order to grab these kids, we know they love basketball. Yeah. So we're introducing them to this. But at the same time, they have to enroll in our other programs, which consist of for self-esteem classes, um, teaching them how to cook, how to sew, 
because Alvin is the person that's going to be teaching them how to sew and classes for wow. kids who need to know what to do when you stop by the police. Know the law, and that's when you'll come in. <laughs> and other topics, human trafficking, cyberbullying. Yeah. These are topics that's very domestic violence. These are all topics that they need to know about. And I wish somebody would have taught me when I was their age. And these are things that we're teaching them. But again, we incorporated the BYBA, Gwen Holland, my husband, and Alvin came together because Alvin is the one, again, who's going to be teaching these kids how to sew. And Gwen, she's going to go all the way back about genealogy, teaching the kids about genealogy, and then love teaching youth. That's the piece where we teach the kids about self-esteem. How do the parents, being a good character. the grandparents, the cousins, the family members get a hold of you to enroll their children in your programs? Let okay. Our listeners know that. Okay, so right now, I want everyone to know that they can just go Sabrina Oliphant at yahoo.com if you want to know anything about our organization or anything about our upcoming basketball events. We have a few spots available, and the ages are 13 to 17 years old. Males right now, but we're having some things coming up for our females, and it's a back-to-school basketball league where we're also going to have some former NBA basketball players that's going to be attending, that's going to be giving the kids some good insight about not only basketball, but other things you can do. You may want to be, um, what, a sport? You, anything, anything relating, not only just to basketball, but if somebody get hurt, you need someone to aid that person. Also, uh, talking about critics about basketball. Mm -hmm. So it's not just basketball that we teach. We love teaching youth. What a, uh, it's such a terrific organization. You know, you know it's interesting, what? Steve, before we came here today, yeah. Sabrina said, if the kids do make it and they, and they uh, go to the pros, while well, they're lost there for them is their agent. I'll hook them up with the credit there card uh, yes. promotions, cars, <laughs> right? This extends even McDonald's, further Burger than just King. the youth. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. I'll be All these right. kids' agents. Yes, you will. Why not? So, Sabrina, it's so it's such a beautiful organization. How, how did this become your passion? As a little girl, and I'm just going to be honest, my mother couldn't understand why I would give everything away, from my food to my clothes. And when I was in kindergarten, I'll never forget, my mother bought all these little books. And I came back home with none of them. And she asked, where's your books? I gave them away to the kids. I just had a desire. Even I love my church. Church of Living God and Agents of Love is a part of my ministry. And I give. Because I've always said, you know, it's better to give than to receive. When you give, you just can't be God's giving. He always gave it back. Look what he gave me. Yeah. Yes. And when I give, he just poured back into me. So I've always given, always had the desire to help and to give as a little girl. And my brothers, my brothers would always take my stuff. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't care. Yeah. And my mother couldn't understand. I never cried because I didn't care. Because if that's what they wanted, I would just give it to them. Right. But again, and like I mentioned, um, my heart just went out to the community uh, where I lived, especially when my nephew was shot and killed. He always said he wanted to be an attorney and get his mother out the hood, buy her a house, and he never made it. So what I wanted to do is give other kids an opportunity. Even if we could save one, that meant more to me than anything. And that's how I, we just started going out to different communities. And again, we do a culture connection. I love that. It's always in September because September is the month for unity where we do a culture connection where we take the kids from Chinatown, uh, the kids from Pilsen area, 
Back of the Yards, that's more Hispanic. Inglewood, New City, African American. And we have the different foods, different dance. African dance, we have the Folklorico dancers, we have uh, Aztec dancers, we have the Chinese uh, kids doing their dance or song. And it's phenomenal. We don't see color, even though this is the BYBA, but it's more for the minorities, but we're not stopping anyone from being involved. We don't see color. You're an amazing person. This is an amazing story. I've never met anyone like you in my life. Um, oh, honestly, but we, you know, we, I always tell my kids just as an aside, you know, it's, it's, it's better to comfort than to be comfortable, better to understand it, to be understood. It's better to love than to be loved. And that's what I think you're teaching the kids also. And I'm happy to say out of, we also do every Wednesday at the park district where we're going to have our BYBA tournament on the 19th. A lot of those boys who may have been on the street, may have wanted to gangbang, seven are Chicago police officers because of my husband and I. That's Continue fantastic. Continue talking to them, letting them know you can do yeah. it. Don't it's matter. Amazing. That's amazing. That story's you can, amazing. You can be the police. You know, oh, I don't want to be the police. <laughs> no, they thought that the police were bad folk, but as we kept being involved, being in their lives, taking them on trips, our kids, some of the kids have been from the NBA, basketball, Bulls game, to the Cubs game, Sox game. We've taken them to Great America, taken them on camping trips, taken them fishing. A lot of our kids know how to fish. That's cool. Tennis, basketball, soccer, volleyball, every sport archery. you name, archery, bowling, every sport in golf. I love it. Thanks to Erica. That lady have worked with us when we didn't have any money. Yeah. And due to a few other sponsors, have helped us along the way. But I haven't uh, got any major grants or anything. Yeah. And now, you yeah, got, so you bless know, with you yeah, so yeah, we should to, to help get, us. We should hopefully uh, first tee the Tiger Woods um, charity where he, he pr they donate money from, from their foundation to introduce kids uh, to golf, which, which etiquette, following rules, no, knowing the etiquette and dignity of the game and how you would treat others with respect and care. And that's, I know that First Tee works like that. That was founded by Tiger Woods. And I know that your organization follows the same path. Like what we're hearing from today is an inspirational, what you're doing to the community. And, you know, everyone is blessed, to be honest with you, for your work and, and your heartwarming. And story. I didn't even Very much so. The kids had an opportunity to go to Piatone, Illinois. Never, half of them never got Sky on a horse. Dive? Oh, no. no. Uh, <laughs> and they, they were taught about agriculture, about farming. Oh, Have wow. Your, you know. Yeah. Oh, it was phenomenal. So, Sabrina, as we wrap things up here, um, how can people get involved? I'm, you know, I'm sure you could always take more donations, um, sponsorships. Um, can people volunteer? Yes. Again, they can email Sabrina Oliphant, and that's O L I. P is in Paul, H A N T at yahoo.com, and then 773 615 6477. They can volunteer because we even work with. Are you ready for this? Yeah, let's hear it. Ready. We work with kids with disabilities. Mm. It's amazing how we took five kids to the NBA game and, uh, Levine came out, signed the ball, oh. and that was the most amazing thing. One of our kids who was a part of our program, who was on his way to the store, shot down, paralyzed all the way down, wanted to just get an opportunity to play basketball, never got the opportunity. So what the Bulls did, invited us out with some of our kids that are with disabilities, and they got to sit on the Court side. That's a great story. Yeah. And uh, just phenomenal. Well, Sabrina, thank you. You're an thank inspiration you. to thank all. Thanks for having thank me. You, you, we you, are really um, so blessed thankful to know you're, her, right? Blessed to know you. Blessed and thank you for co coming in and being a part of um, John's uh, podcast. And John Waller, thank you for, for helping the organization out and, and being there. If 
financially as a financial backer. I, I, it is my pleasure. I mean, yeah. after listening to the story, I think all listeners or viewers of the podcast should help donate to also be a part of this incredible organization, what Sabrina and her team are doing in the communities. And as she explained to you, like the, the Hispanic community in back of the yards and in um, Chinatown and New City and Englewood, these are all areas that, that uh, could use a helping hand, a lift up, and it only betters and all of us. And Don't the grandparents. And the grandparents. No, I'm saying. Because they're struggling. And, you know, just to get to, like, our base is at Sherman Park. But they'll come over there. They're struggling to get there. Need transportation. We need, you know, we, we don't have it. We had a van. And, of course, somebody totaled it. So we're still looking for, like, transportation. Yeah. And right now, Heavenly Sent. All right, hopefully uh, have people listening could open up their wallets. With and, transportation. No, I mean, this is just, you, we don't have to big, have a big dinner or a big banquet or a big golf outing. You're listening directly to a story, and there should be no reason for Sabrina to spend funds to promote, like, a banquet and rent out the Sheridan Hotel for a dinner. Just just look, get her phone number and, and contact her through email so you can open up your wallets and you could donate to her so you can make this community better through your financial support. And we appreciate all the, you know, our, our viewers and our listeners to help out Sabrina and we're blessed you came in and thank you for your thank time. You. Yeah. Thank you thank for you. all you do and thanks for the opportunity. And John, um, and if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, how could somebody get a hold of you? 312-800-000 or just contact us at walner at walnerlaw.com and we'd appreciate to help you and your family in any way we can. Thank you for your listening and we look forward to seeing you on our next episode of Words with Walner. Yeah, and to the audience, thank you for joining us. And as just as a reminder, um, you know, Sabrina King represents a wonderful organization, and I'm, I do encourage everyone to get involved or to donate um, because it really does make a difference in the community. Thanks, everybody, and see you next time. Thank you.